Good morning. This is Wayne Simblick from the Stearns County Soil Water Conservation District with your conservation report. Just wanted to give the public a heads up that effective December 1, 2014, when you visit our office in regard to a USDA program or other USDA assistance, the Natural Resources Conservation Service must offer you a receipt for your visit. The receipt for service must be made available to you as required by the Agricultural Act of 2014, which is the Farm Bill. On November 18, 2014, the Stearns County Soil Water Conservation District Board of Supervisors moved to adopt the Stearns County Comprehensive Local Water Management Plan as the comprehensive plan of the Stearns County SWCD. Within that plan, there are three priority concerns, source water protection, development impacts, and impaired waters. So what does this really mean for you as a landowner or a resident in Stearns County? It means continuing to have the dedicated SWCD staff focused on working with you and your community to implement projects and programs that protect and improve our water and soil resources. Under each of the priority concerns, there's a laundry list of goals. A quick run through a couple of highlights just to let you know how the SWCD plays a role in the, in the implementation of this plan. Under source water protection, again, pro providing safe drinking water to the residents of Stearns County is, re is the primary responsibility of the government. Stearns County has a number of communities that are providing drinking water to their residents from vulnerable aquifers. Painesville, St. Martin, Cold Spring, Holding Forge, just to name a few. The SWCD is working hard to promote and participate in the education of our communities about the importance of drinking water protection. We also help communities draft wellhead protection plans and apply for funding to help the communities Im implement their source water protection programs. Development impacts. Uh, Stearns County is experiencing strong residential and commercial development pressures. The construction of buildings, roads, and parking lots increases the amount of impervious cover that's out there. The, result, the resulting increased stormwater runoff and erosion can cause a number of negative changes to stream flow, aquatic habitat, and water quality. The goal is to minimize the impact of new development and redevelopment on surface and groundwater resources. The SWCD works with property owners and communities to promote land and water best management practices in shoreland and, and urban areas by providing technical and cost share assistance for vegetative buffers, rain gardens, infiltration trenches, or other practices since it appears that each site is always unique. Under impaired waters, Stearns County has a number of water resources that have been listed by the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency as impaired, which means that the water resource does not meet its designated use. The majority of water resources in the county have not been monitored by the MPCA or two MPCA standards to determine whether impairments exist or not. The goal is to determine the water quality status of the highest priority water resources in the county, protect those water resources that currently support their designated uses, and where needed, improve those that do not. Here, the SWCD provides technical and financial assistance to county landowners in implementing agricultural best management practices on working lands to reduce soil erosion, protect stream banks, and improve water resources. So if you're interested in learning about cover crops, water and sedimentation basins, irrigation, water management, or nutrient and pest management, you need to come visit with us. Uh, what I've talked about so far is just the tip of the iceberg on what we do as a soil and water conservation district. So if you have any questions about improving habitat or the environment, protecting and improving soil health, wetlands, or any other water resource issues, please give us a call. For more information on any of today's or other topics, please check out our website at www.stearnscountyswcd.net or call us at 320-251-7800, extension 3, or you can like us on Facebook. This has been Wayne Simbluck with your Conservation Report.